Hello, I have decided to do a brief introduction to high command, which I know sounds very intimidating. It took me a long time to look into this and I thought, oh my God, you know, I mean, I, don't, I could do a squad, but high command sounds like a really big deal. Well, it's actually very simple and in, and in many ways, it's much easier to do than being a squad leader. When you're a squad leader, you're in charge of each one of those guys, unless you give a command to all of them. You have to set their formation, their their status, you know, there's just an awful lot to it. It's a lot of sort of in the weeds type stuff. Whereas high command in many ways is much simpler and I'm gonna demonstrate that here. So so when you're a squad leader, you are the central guy in the squad and uh, you're in charge of all of those guys, including yourself. When you're a high command, instead of being in charge of individual soldiers, although you could be, uh, you're normally commanding entire squads uh, and you could even command a, a platoon, a company. Um, it depends on how you want to organize them. So um, this is this adds a whole new element to ARMA. I think it can make it a whole lot more interesting and much larger scale. Another thing you can do with this is you can have more than one high command commander with the same units. So uh, if two or three of you are playing multiplayer, you could have the same force and, uh, you know, divide up your duties or, you know, you might see where you know, one unit needs to be moved or something and you just take charge and you, you tell that unit to go around. So you do it sort of as a committee type thing. Anyway, uh, let's start at the beginning. So first thing we need for high command is we need a commander. So I'm going to use a, I'm just going to use a squad leader. And I'm going to stick them out here in the desert. We're at, we're at Almira on Altus, which is, I call it the Salt Flats. It's a great place if you need a wide open space. It's pretty good for this sort of thing. So let's take our guy and point him in the right direction. We'll point him. No, I didn't want to move him. I just want to point him. Oh, I don't know. Maybe that worked. Anyway, so this guy, I'm going to change his attributes. I'm going to make him make sure he's the player. And uh, let's make him a captain. Okay. It's nice if your high commander is outranks the most squad leaders are sergeants. So we'll just make this guy a captain. And I'm going to add a couple of squads. Uh, well, let's add three squads. Well, well, we'll just stick with two squads. That's enough to demonstrate. We don't want to make it more complicated than we need to. So we're going to add... A rifle squad here and a uh, we'll put a weapon squad uh, on the other side and uh, we'll start with that now how does this work well it's really pretty simple you go to you need to go to um, your modules and you go to other and if you come down, uh, the items number five and six are a high command commander and a high command subordinate. So the first one you want is commander. You bring it over. It doesn't matter where you drop it. It's a module. Okay. And we are going to link. Uh, I'm going to link me, link myself. Uh, and it's sync to, not group to, this module. Okay. That makes me the high commander. If you had a, two people being high commander, they would both be linked to this module as long as they're commanding the same force. Okay, so now the, the squads need to be linked to another module called high command subordinate. So it's kind of like the same way you do supports for artillery, if you're familiar with that. So I'm going to link these squads to the subordinate, high command subordinate module. Now to do that, do not use this little tag here because what will happen is you'll just end up when you give a command, just the squad leader will go and no one else. So you want to select the whole unit and then connect sync to, and you should have all those lines just like this. Okay. You sync them and I'm going to do the same thing with this guy. All right. And they're all selected connect sync to we're syncing not grouping to okay so now the only thing i have left to do 
is to sync the high command commander to the subordinates. So now, if this all goes the way it should, when I get it, when I uh, start the scenario, I will be commanding these two squads. And here we go. Let's see how. Let's see if it works. Well, there's there's one squad over there, and there's another squad over there. But you know what? I I don't I don't have any way to give them commands. So what do I do about that? Well, if you to get into enter high command mode, you need to hit control left control spacebar. And as soon as you do that, your if you look down in the lower left of the screen, it shows you the the elements. I'm going to call them elements because they don't have to be a squad. It could be one guy. It could be a vehicle. It could be a helicopter. It doesn't matter, you know. Or it could be a hundred guys. It could be a, a it could be a platoon, right? So so uh, in in which case you'd be you'd be giving command to the platoon leader, and he would tell all his units what to do so let's well, but we're going to keep it simple here so we have two two units and you'll notice if you look at the uh the little logos the icons in the lower left of the screen here the first one uh well i can't i have to i can't move my mouse button it's just going to aim me so anyway the first one is alpha one three the second is alpha one two they use NATO standard symbols, so they're infantry. And the first one has a one in it, and the second one has a two in it. Well, the, those numbers correspond to the F keys. So if I want to give a command to Alpha One, I'm going to go into Map View because I think it'll be easier to see. So, so, so Alpha One Three is on my right over here. Okay, Alpha One Three. Now, I think I can select it like this. Yes, I just did. That's so you can select it with your mouse. And you just, if you want to give them a waypoint, you put this cursor wherever you want to send them. And you press the mouse wheel, okay, to set the waypoint. You just push down on the mouse wheel. Boom, there they go. Now, let's see what's going on here. Let's see if they're moving out. Yep, there they go. Now, I didn't have to do anything but give them a waypoint. Their squad leader gives them all of their orders. So they will they will do whatever he says. If he tells them he'll change their formation, he'll change their status, whatever they need. All I got to do is give them orders. Now I can I can uh, set characteristics to this waste this this waypoint. You'll notice up there in the top I can set the combat mode, formation, speed, wait until I can do stuff like that if I want but other than that uh, the, you know basically it's a move to they're on their own now I'm gonna do something similar to to the other unit alpha 1 2 but I'm gonna do that in the 3d format not on the map view so so let's say uh, I'm out there we're in the battlefield there's there's uh, if I can select them like that no, I cannot. So I'm going to put F2. All right, I've selected uh, I've selected that unit, and instead of doing the map, I'm just going to point out here, and I'm going to point out there a little ways and, and hit the mouse button, and I just gave my waypoint, and there they go. Hmm. All right, so they are on their way, okay? So I did the same thing, basically. I just did it two different ways. Once was in the map. I, the map is actually much easier to do if you're trying to figure out, you know, you want them to go to some woods, but this works too, especially for shorter distances. All right, so that's the first part of our demonstration here. So you see how easy that is? So now I could tell, I could grab F2. Uh, I could grab F1. 
and I can there is no regroup here so I have to go um, let's say I just want them over there so I'll just I'll bring them back and I'm gonna grab F2 and give them a, a waypoint order and bring them back whoops I keep doing that uh, and there they come here comes Alpha 1-3 and Alpha 1-2. Now, it's not hard to see that you could easily do this with six squads, no problem, because you're just telling them where to go. If you want, you can give them more information, like seek and destroy or whatever, but most of the time, to keep it simple, you just need to point. Okay, let's go back to the editor for a minute. One problem with this method is it's very hard to get these guys to go into a vehicle. So another trick I learned from studying this on YouTube is um, what you, the answer to that, the best answer to that is to give them their own vehicle. So I'm going to go to APCs and since we're doing the Tanoa campaign, I'm going to use I'm going to use the uh, AMV7 Marshall, and I'm going to give them each a Marshall. Okay, I'm going to park it there. And I'm going to group the Marshall to the squad leader. Okay, so that Marshall is now part of that squad. And ditto here. Group two. Now, don't go the other way, because if you group the squad leader to the marshal, then the the marshal will be given the orders. That won't work. All right, let's go back in, back into our scenario for a minute, and I'll show you something interesting. If you try to order a squad into a vehicle, it tends not to work, because the squad leader just doesn't understand what you're trying to tell him. Now, if, if, I, if I go into map view, I'm going to go in here. Oh, look at that. Uh, oh, I, I can't. I don't have any symbols. You know why? Because I did not. Um, I, I didn't hit control B. All right, here we go. Or control space bar, rather. All right, so now I'm going to go into the map view so I can see. My, you'll notice that... Uh, Okay, I'm going to go uh, F2 for Alpha 1, 2, and I'm going to give them an order to move. Not very far. Let's see what they're doing. Notice that the squad is on foot, and the marshal is basically just following along with them. Okay, that's because it's a short distance. Now, I'm going to do the same thing with... Uh, with Alpha 1-3, but we're going to do it a little different. Uh, Alpha 1-3, I'm going to give them a much farther way to go. I'm going to send them way out there, okay? And let's see if they do things differently. Look what they're doing. They are getting into the marshal. The reason they're doing that is their squad leader told them to. So if you, if you have your squad go a long ways, normally they will board the vehicle and off they'll go. And I hope this guy doesn't run me over. That happened to me earlier this afternoon. There they go. Okay. Awesome, huh? So now I can now let's let's try that with Alpha 1 2. Let's let's try Alpha 1 2 and see if we give them orders to go farther if they'll get in their marshal. So I'm gonna we're gonna try them too. We'll send them way out here. Let's see if they board the marshal. I think they are. It looks to me like they're running back to their marshal. They wouldn't be smart enough to have the marshal come to them. Let's get the binoculars up and take a look here. There they are. Look at them. Now they're all going to get in. There they go see if it's a long distance once they decide it'll be faster 
to go in the vehicle, they'll board and off they'll go that way. And now they're on their way. Okay. All right, that's the end of that quick demonstration. Now I'm going to add one more thing, just so you can see the potential to all this. This is pretty cool. So let's uh, let's go back to our editor. All right, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to edit the loadout of the High Commander. And I'm going to give them, uh, I'm going to give them a UAV terminal, NATO. Okay, and I'm also going to add a UAV just for fun. Let's do, um, this is kind of a cool one. We're going to do the MQ-212 Falcon, which is a little chopper. Now the Falcon, I'm going to link... I'm going to sync to the high command subordinate. Now, I don't have to have the UAV terminal. I could do this without the terminal, but the problem is I can't see what the I can't look at the turret. I can't give I can't see what that Falcon sees, but I can give them orders, which is pretty useful. It's just more useful if you have the terminal. The terminal is optional, but highly recommended. I'll show you why. Okay, so here we go. Now we're going to go back into our scenario. And there's the Falcon. We'll start with the Falcon, right? So I'm going to hit Control Spacebar. Now I have an Alpha 1-4, and Alpha 1-4 is my drone. So I'm going to hit uh, F4. Now I'm going to hit F3. And I'm going to set a waypoint for the drone uh, right there. And let's see what happens. Look at that. Uh, I, I did this without a terminal. The drone's going to go where I tell it to go. Um, I, can, I can set characteristics to that waypoint if I want to. There he goes. Okay. I could have him uh, look ahead. So the reason I got the UAV terminal, I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, so so I think he'll just stay airborne out there. All right, so let's let's get our two other guys. Let's get. I'm going to select uh, Alpha One Three, and I'm going to go to the map view, and I'm going to have him go out here. Ooh, I don't want to do that. Let's drag that over here. Yeah, and then. I'm going to select Alpha 1-2 and have Alpha 1-2 go here. They're probably going to board their vehicles. Yes, they are, because it's a ways to go. And off they go, see? Now, I'm going to use my mouse wheel and scroll down and I'm going to open my UAV terminal and I'm going to select the MQ-12 Falcon and go to Control Gunner and oh look at this I can, I can see whatever that chopper sees so here, here it comes uh, one of my units So by now, this should, uh, you know, I didn't want to, there's a lot more to this, but, and I'll probably do another video at least, but does this give you some idea of what you can do? Um, it should, you know, it's pretty amazing. I don't know why I have to move my mouse so much. And there comes our other guy right here. give this drone commands too. Um, I can release the controls since I since I, I, I'm also the UAV owner of this drone. I should be able to, I'm going to turn the lights off, we don't want that. I should be able to select this uh, drone 
can give it a drone command. Ooh, it's not going to take it. That's interesting. It won't take it because uh, it has a because I'm high command. It won't do it. So we'll get out of that. Let's go into our high command menu. See if we can get the drone to land, and then we'll call it quits. So the drone is Alpha One Four. That's F Three. I'm going to give it a waypoint here, and now I'm going to right-click the waypoint and tell it the type of waypoint, and the type will be. Oh, uh, well, no land, no command to land, huh? Let's try get out and see what happens. If you do that with an aircraft, it lands so the pilot can get out. Yep, it's landing. Am I good or what? Okay, that concludes this lesson. Have a great day. I hope you learned something.